Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now this is a very short briefing on the Muslim storytelling competition. The rules, what to expect. Uh, the first price is $500, second price is $300, and the third price is $150. Uh, this is all uh, due to the generosity of donors and sponsors. So let's make the most of it. Number one, why am I holding this? Because I see the need for our children to grow. I want to groom them into becoming Muslim speakers for the Ummah, for the future generations. Right? That is the main intention. Of course, the side intention is to give your child um, uh, good activity, an excellent opportunity during the holidays to have fun and also to hone, eh, to hone their skills. Now, storytelling is a narrative, is a skill that is very important in today's age, uh, especially in social media. Right? You see everybody's telling stories, but they are not telling the right stories. Okay, I want our children to tell the right stories, right? The right story. So we begin with the Muslim storytelling. Uh, what they do is, your child is to tell a story three minutes or less in three minutes or less, not more, not more, okay? That means it can be two minutes, 30, 30 seconds, it can be one minute, it can be 30 seconds. Of course, it has to, uh, he has to tie in your story. If your story takes once to be three minutes long, it has to be three minutes long, then three minutes, cannot be more, okay? If it's too short, not enough stuff, right? So three minutes or less is just nice for storytelling. So what he does or she or she does is tell the story, no special effects, no background like this one, no background, no special effects, no props, no props. He, she takes a he or she takes a broom and use it as a you no know, which which stick or what. No. No props, no costumes, nothing, no special hat, no nothing. Just wear normal clothes. Uh, for the children, um, it is advice that for example, if they are ballet ready, for example, the primary five or six, right? If they're ballet ready, for the girls, please wear the headgear. Why? Because later we are, if she wins then we are going to show it to the public right uh, so i have to take care of this because it's muslim storytelling just for this competition please wear the headgear for those who are balik the rest up to you okay up to you we are trying to follow the muslim rules as much as possible so simply just tell the story in three minutes or less video it record it on video and then send it to me that's all send it to me send it to the organizer and then we will choose we will choose who is the winner? Who are the three winners? $500 first prize, $300 second prize, and $150 second, uh, third prize. Sorry. That's all. Okay, that's all you need to know. If you have any questions, just ask me. Right? Uh, yeah, what will you be judged on? There will be three criteria. Number one is your facial expression. When you're sad, are you doing this? I'm sad. No, right? It has to be, I'm sad. Yeah. Oh, and then you can talk about you. And then second criteria, second criteria for judging will be on your body language. See how I'm using my hands, right? Moving the face, happy, and then the, the hands are moving. Oh, I'm angry, right? All that is taken into account. And of course, the third one is your intonation, your voice. Are you going to speak like robot? I am going to tell you a story. I am going to tell you a story. Can you see the difference between the two? So intonation is also important. So three things: voice, body language, and facial expression. Three things are taken to account. No other special effects, no green screen, no nothing. Of course, uh, if you want to, to do the video recording, please make sure it's a plain wall, okay? We do not want to see the background of your house. No need, no need. yeah. Plain wall, uh, blank, white wall is okay. You want to have a background? You see, Mr. Raman, I, I cannot have my house like that. No, you see, when you use a, a background like this, can you see not some of my movements, they are blurred, right? I do not want that. I want to see you in full. See that? I don't like that. See all this. I uh, see my hands disappear. No. Just do a plain background. Uh, no special effects. That's it. Okay. So I think that that what covers it is very it's a very simple competition. It's just to have fun and to to improve your your narrating skills, eh? storytelling skills. You contact me if you need training. We'll have a special training session. Depends on how many people. But if there are too few, of course, I won't be holding it. Right? Uh, each one actually, each person will be charge $10. This is optional. We charge $10. But there are sponsors for that as well. So, book fast, then you'll get the sponsorship. If not, then, oh, oh I'm sorry, then um, you'll have to pay $10. Right? Are there any things that I haven't covered? It is free. Eh? It's totally free. Totally free for you to join. There's nothing. No catch at all. It's just for you to have fun. And thank you again to the sponsors and uh, sponsors and donors. Uh, yeah. Uh, important dates is Today is the briefing, right? On the 22nd of June. 22nd of June, we'll have 
uh, I will announce the results. But well, of course, before that, the deadline is 18 of June. You must submit the video by midnight, 18 of June. I have to receive the video. Anything after that, if it's 1201 uh, on the 19th of June, then I have to reject the video uh, to be fair to everyone. You no, know, usually people will be doing it last minute, right? Uh, no, no such thing. We have to be strict. We have to follow the rules. 12 midnight on 18th of June. That will be the last the last uh, time that I'll be receiving any videos. Anything other than this, please call me. Please contact me. My WhatsApp number is 83999541. Okay. Of course, if you're from overseas, you can call me at 6 plus 65, then 83. 999 Now, for overseas contestants, I welcome you, but you must have a PayPal, PayPal, PayPal account. You must have a PayPal account because in the past, right, if you don't have a PayPal account, it's very difficult to transfer money to you. So many things. If you don't have a PayPal account, please don't join because later it will hit to heartache. It will lead to heartache, right? I want to pay you. You got first and I want to pay you. I can't pay you because I have no way to convey transfer the money to you properly. Properly, eh? I do not need I don't need hassle trying to find this way and that way. So to be easy, if you're from overseas, please have a PayPal 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 account. Sorry, I keep on mispronouncing that. Okay. Um yeah, I think that's it. Uh, what is my email address? It's in my name. Okay. Uh, you send it to me. All uh all correspondence, you can send it to me. A Rahman at Eh, no, sorry, a Rahman Basron at yahoo.com. Again, why is it a Rahman Basron at yahoo.com? How do I spell that in one word? No spacing, no comma, no special symbols. A R A H M A N B A S R U N. The what cut was the at sign, you know, the special at sign yahoo.com. Okay, again, A R A H. M A N B A S R U N at yahoo.com. A Rahman Basun at yahoo.com. No spacing, no nothing, just one straight word. And that's it. That's it for the briefing. Again, any questions, just ask me. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu ala ilaha ilan tasna fikal tu balaik. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal asr innal insana la fi khus ila lazina amanu amul salihati wa tawasaw bil haki wa tawasaw bil sabar. Sadaqaw, sadaqaw azim. Oh, I forgot. Forgot the most important thing. Can you imagine that? I forgot the most important thing, which is what i going to talk about, right? The Muslim storytelling competition is about Muslim storytelling, right? However, what is the subject? Any personality in Islamic history. What does that mean? You can take any story. You can either tell the left life story, but it's quite difficult to tell the life story of someone in three minutes, right? So you can pick out a story from that person's life. For example, you can talk about Prophet Muhammad SAW and how he handled, uh, how he handled the people of Mecca, right? You can just take up one story, or you can take about you can talk about Bilal, eh? Uh, Bilal, you know the 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 slave who became Muslim, right? The ex-slave, he became an ex-slave. He became very very, uh, and a very honorable person in Islam, right? Uh, how he was called to how he was called by Prophet Muhammad SAW. To, to sound the azan, right? Allahu Akbar, oh, very nice, right? Very nice. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Okay, uh, the story of that, uh, we can talk about the story of Saidina Abu Bakar, uh, and then you can talk about uh, maybe uh, Saidatina Aisha, Radiallahu Anha, anyone, just pick out a story that you tell it, tell the story in nice clear terms. You can either pick the story from a book, or you can write the script yourself. Okay, now you must you must you must tell me whether you do the story yourself or you take it from book because those who make their own stories, of course, make your own stories means you make up don't make up the facts. You take up the story and then you just write it out in your own words, right? Uh, then of course, of course, it'd it be better because it's in your own voice, right? But no extra marks will be given. If you tell it from a storybook or you tell it in your own words, no extra marks will be given because the criteria are only these three. It's not a composing or uh, composition uh, competition. So only three, your voice, your face, and also your body language. Okay? So take a story from Islamic history, just one story, tell it in three minutes or less, uh, record it, and then send it to me. Yeah, that's it. Right? That's it. 
Okay, again, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika asyad wa la ilam tasafiq wa tabla ikh bismillahirrahmanirrahim wal asr inal insana lafi khus ila lazina amanu amalu salihati wa tawasa bil haqi wa tawasa bil sabr sadaqallahu azim Thank you very much and a very good life ahead of you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh